Hello from Miss Inquisitivity and happy Friday. Um, I've got my lad rags on or a bit of lippy in a maxi dress because me and my friends tonight are doing a house party meet up on the house party app and we're going to do the, uh, the adventures uh, friends quiz tonight um, on Facebook. If you don't if you haven't seen adventures look them up I'm gonna put the link down at the bottom but they're doing all sorts of kind of quizzes while people are in quarantine so keeps the morale up anyway today I'm sure there'll be a few of you celebrating with a wine to have made it through your first week of quarantine yay or some of you may have been a little bit longer um, today I've had a lovely day with um, the uh, girliest tomboy in the world and a lovely day with the most beautiful Kevin in the world. Um, we've done lots and lots of fun things, we've done some planting, we've painted our window. Um, on my um, local group, big Facebook group, the local in the locality, um, I've put the feelers out there for a um, a rainbow walk to make a map so I'll um, when I've when I've finished it I'll um, put the link on here um, for how to make um, a rainbow walk map which might be quite nice for your locality um, and we've been doing some maths and we've been doing some maths with pasta and this is how well, this is what my video is going to be about today so I've just got three types of pasta. I did have four types, but the girliest tomboy in the world had a little bit too much fun with the pasta and it's all broken. But if you can keep an eagle eye out um, and then take it away, you can reuse it again. It doesn't, it's, there's no food wastage and boiling it in water will kill any germs. So you're okay to use it again as long as it's all kept relatively clean. Um, so here I've got some penne pasta here. I call it fusilli in the um, in the video later on, but just ignore that. Um, and I have some lasagna sheets, which come in very useful for place value. I'll explain why. And I have some spaghetti or linguine, but you can use any pasta shapes you want. The more the better, really. Um, so the first thing I'm going to talk about on how you can use um, your um, pasta shapes is pattern making. So it's a bit like teaching the kids maths and they don't know what they're doing. They don't know that they're doing maths. So um, my idea is um, that you can either just kind of pop it out on a tabletop or on a mat outside and just let them make patterns. I mean you could make like Rangoli type patterns. I'll show you with my, with my finished entry in a minute. Rangoli type patterns that you see at Diwali. They're quite nice to make. So here that's just a really simple pattern. But here you can see that you can still do the whole mathematics thing of this is an A, this is a B, 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 and this is an A. Um, or what you can do is you can just ask your children to tell you about um, their pattern. If you look at my Instagram, Miss Inquisitivity, um, you will find um, a picture on there of some leading questions that um, I can ask, okay? So, hello, sorry, a little person has just walked into the room. Hi! <laughs> um, so, that is one thing because patterns are actually the uh, heart of mathematics. So actually by exploring patterns with your children at home with whatever objects you can find, you're actually providing their foundations of algebraic thinking basically it's very early algebra okay so 
Um, so patterns is one way, um, and as you'll see today, me and the girliest tomboy in the world outside made um, pattern necklaces. So you'll be able to see if you listen to um, how I'm questioning her and the language I'm using, that'll be something that you can work on with your child or play with with your child um, and they won't know they're doing maths. So that's great. So we get A and then we have B. B. So the fusilli is the B. A, B. A, B. And then we keep C. going. A. And what comes next? B. B. A. A. B. B is tricky to put on. Yeah, but it's really good for your fine mortar, isn't it? Why are you putting only A's on? I'm not. Watch. A B A B A B A B. There you go. I'm not doing that there. <laughs> An A A B pattern. Do you think you could do that? Yeah. An A A. And then B. Well done. Super job. So we're gonna do. A. A. This is A A B. A. Oh, is that the A? <gasps> Silly me. Well done for correcting me on my mistake. You ready? Yeah. Okay, A. A. Ah, it keeps on coming off. It's all right. When can we keep it on here? Well, it's up to you. You can do your own afterwards. A, A, B. B. And then what comes after B? C. A, 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 B. A, A. B. B. What comes next? A. Hey, well done. Oh no, it came off. It's all right, don't worry. Never gonna do A. It. It a again. One way that you can use pasta shapes in exploring patterns, I'm sure there are many more. Um, put in the comments down below if you can think of any more ideas. Let's share at this time of uncertainty. Okay. Um, the other thing that I did with the girliest tomboy in the world today was I worked with her with her teen numbers because she finds them a bit tricky. Teen numbers are very tricky because they don't really make sense, do they? I mean, let's face it. You go 11, 12, 13, 14. It should be 11 teen, 12 teen, surely. Like, it's very confusing. Um... But basically, the main structure or pattern that you need to remember is that um, 11 is 10 and one more. 12 is 10 and two more. 13 is 10 and three more, and so on and so forth. Ha ha, you're using your pattern recognising skills right now to know what would be next. Yeah, there we go. So... What we use, um, I'm sure you'll have seen in schools, is something called Numicon, um, which is like these rectangles with circles in. I'll put a link in the bottom to show you. But um, as we, not all of us will have Numicon at home, unless you're a teacher, um, or you manage to stash some. And Black Market's great for Numicon. I'm joking, it's not. Um, we can use these lasagna sheets. So these are worth 10, and then you can use the, the penne or whatever else you want to use as the ones. This lasagna sheet is worth 10. Okay. This lasagna sheet is worth 10. 10. And this. And that one. And this. And that one. And this. And this. Could you count all those in 10s? You mm. ready? I can. Ready? 10. 10. 20. Three. 30, 40, 50, 60. Super job, well done. Right, so you've just made 60 out of us on these sheets. Excellent, right, next task. My turn first. I'll show you how we're going to use those in a minute. 
my next my turn next ready i'm gonna make 12 you ready so i need 10 and how many more do i need two well done super job two right excellent your turn can you make me using the pasta sheets can you make me 14 14, 10 and four. four more, well done, good girl. Right, you ready? Next one. Ready? Okay, I'm going to make 16, so I need 10 and six. Six, well done, six more. One, two, three. Four, five, six. five, six. Super job, well done. Right, 11. Make me 11. Yeah. One lasagna sheet and then... Eleven. So what's eleven? One of them is ten, eleven of these. Eleven of those? Uh -huh. What does an eleven look like? What does number eleven look like? This and then one added there. One added there. So how many fingers have you got there? Ten. Ten. So how many lasagna sheets do you need? Ten. How many if you've got, if they're worth ten, how many lasagna sheets do you need to make eleven? One. One, good girl. So put one down. One. And then... One. Well done. There we go. Super job. You got it. Well and done. Then, and then one. One. One, one last question. One. Can you make me 20? I can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I don't know how. You don't know how? Oh, is that tricky? Mm -hmm. So that's 10. So how many more do we need to make 20? I got it. Hmm. 10, 11, 12. 13. <gasps> 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. But hang on, what have we got here? How many have you got there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. 10, so what could you have instead of all these pasta shirts? What could you use? Another 10. Another 10, well done. Super job. Great maths. Um, okay, guys, that's it from me. Um, happy Friday again. Got children leaping about in the background. <laughs> this is why we need the wine. Um, I hope that um, you're enjoying your home learning experience as much as I am. And um, hopefully I will see you soon. Please subscribe. So click the subscribe button button down below um please follow me on instagram miss inquisitivity dot uh, miss inquisitivity and please um go on the website if you can miss inquisitivity dot co dot uk okay that's all from me go and play <laughs>